Okay, good morning, guys. Let me tell you about this beautiful brisket breakfast sandwich. Oh, my Lord, it was so, so delicious. All right, let's get right into it, show how we make it. First, we started off with this beautiful brisket bacon from Paul Doyle. And then we went ahead and got that pan turned on to a medium-high heat. Went ahead and sliced open that vacuum seal pack. Yes, yes, the pack was in. I'm going to go ahead and assort it so I can get a good sear on each side. Okay, let it down the pan. You don't want to crowd the pan. You want that crispiness. Ooh, look at that aroma. Y'all can smell it. I know y'all can smell that. Oh, my God. Move it around. Move it around. Let's make sure we're getting crispy edges on this brisket bacon. All right, let's go ahead and set it to the side. Come with these fresh yard eggs. Yes, fresh yard eggs from over out of Mississippi. All right, got those over, flipped over. Fried hard is how I like them. Then we're going to season them up lightly with a little bit of this red jalapeno garlic. And then we're going to come out with some of that local, that magic. Appreciate you, Daniel Lobel, for this amazing seasoning. Now, this gouda, I'm not going to shred it. We're going to do slice. I want slices. All right? You see that? Mm-hmm. It's the reason why I want my slices like this. Yes, I don't want to shred it. And let's go ahead and take these eggs out. They fry hard enough just the way I like them, the way I like them. Yes. Move all of that little grit and burnt pieces out the way because what we're doing, coming with this bread. We got sabata bread and jalapeno cornbread, both fresh out from Chicago. Oh, my God. I can't wait to try the different crust on these breads. Come on over. Let's add some of that beautiful butter so we can make sure we get a nice toast. And let's turn the heat down. Got to turn the heat down. All right. Because we don't want to burn the bread. Okay. Let's make sure we get more than enough butter. Get all that butter. Now, I like a lot of butter. I want to taste the butter. All right. Let's get that butter all spread around without scratching the bottom. Lightly spread it, spread it, spread it. Now, as you see, I got the bread down, flipping. Look at that toasting this. Oh, my God. It's ready. It's ready. Look at that. Oh, yes. Now we're going to come back and start laying out our beautiful beef brisket bacon. Thanks again, Paul. This bacon was amazing, man. Okay. Two fried hard eggs on both. Uh-huh. And in between, in between, we're coming with that glue, also known as that Gouda. Smoked Gouda. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now we're going to put this in the brawler. Yeah, because we're going to make sure this cheese melts just ooh so ooey gooey. Oh, it is ready. Let's go ahead and whip it out what it look like, what it look like. Boom! Tell me that don't look good. No, y'all going to look at this. Take your time. Take it in. Ah, look at it. Yes, 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 sir. All right, you know what? I want to go ahead and add a little bit of pepper and onion, just a little bit, give it a little more natural seasoning. Okay, got my onion now. I'm going to julienne the onion very little bit. We need a lot. I don't want to... Take away too much from the real flavors and to go ahead and top that in the pan with that same heat. Let's shake that around, get those cooked down to the tender and fragrant. Yeah, right when you start to smell them, that's when you know it's ready. I came back and added a little butter. Now let's take this off and let's finally, let's finally, finally get this thing assembled. Assemble! Yes, yes, yes. I don't know which one I want better. The corn, jalapeno cornbread bread. Or the sabala, because the sabala so soft, but the other so crispy on those edges. I gotta pull out my haya knife, knife. Oh, yep, let's get a nice clean cut. See, I usually cut like this when we're going with thick bread, but hey, I went ahead and hooked it on up just like this. And that's the final product, guys. Oh, 